Right, let's start the drilling then. Um, the only thing I want to check was number one, we've got to make sure we can still mount the PCB. So, I want to keep that post. Which we're doing anyway. Should be fine. And then the other part, we just want to make sure that's sound properly. Where that was there. Uh, We've got gummy, should we keep that plastic bit? Right, okay, I've got an idea what we can take out. This one we're gonna to have to just start with a drill. You can't chop around it. So. Get the drill. Keeps it a little bit tidy. Well, let's say tidy, but it's not a tidy one. Right? Takes off any excess plastic that we don't want to keep. All the bits of the drum. These little things are cool. Um, mini cutting wheel. See what the uh, weight is of the shot, but it's probably the same. All right, took a gram off it, maybe. All right, it's definitely a little bit thicker than we thought. Two point three mil thick. Damn. Thick base, mum. Let's uh, chop out this next bit of the chassis and we'll carry it.
I was going to go a bit closer, but I want to keep this mount point for the PCB. I don't want to get too close to the sensor edge. We're going a little bit far here. Was it 15 grams, 16 grams, 13, so you don't even that much yet. That's one thing, if you're going to mod yours, you need to prepare yourself for the amount of mess you're going to get. It's going to be pure. The reason the is main, sure, mate, there it is. The old G-Pro. The prototype. Switch all the, uh, change all the switches to Khalith Red. Seven of them. <laughs> Bit of a beast to get them out. Definitely cut the side too short. Thought I had a bit more play on it, but didn't. Pay attention. Cheers for the follow, Malak. Boss, is it? Cheers, ma'am. Thanks you very much. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright, so we're down. Took four grams out of the base, but we have sacrificed a little bit. I think we take some now off the back of this shell as well. Just trim some of that out. Because we can always always put the top plate over it to keep it looking stock. So I've got to do this carefully now, I think. <laughs> Famous last word. Got to do this carefully, Bob. Yeah, sure. But I think if I can trim out, I think we can trim out all of this spare case in here. Right? I'm thinking. Now we can hide it with the back plate. Not much more we can get out of this rear one. We we'll probably drill some of this out. Try and keep it looking like a bit of a stealth mod. What I'm trying to understand here is whether the you don't want that to rattle. I think the back plate clips into the... Just on this corner.
So if we can save that corner, we have to trim out all the. And we could probably save it. Nice, you're going to go. It's going to go one way. It's going to work. This way. it's going to be a nightmare. Oh, what it weighed? Five grams. Okay. Okay, 1.2 grams. Better than I thought. The final bit, I want to see what's under this button, whether we can take some plastic out of it. It's kind of how I work. I just kind of methodically try and work out where I can take like some of the weight out of it. I think you guys, if you're going to do it yourself, you want to um, look at what I've done and then you can probably take it a little bit neater. <laughs> but I'm just kind of messing with it on the road, on the side here. All right, let's take out some of the uh, plastic on here. Eighty five would be happy. Anything below that's pretty good. But we have done some things. One, I wouldn't take the rubber off the scroll wheel. That was a lesson learned. And secondly, I probably wouldn't have shaved as much off the side. Um, in fact, the way we've shaved it, you could still run. You could still run the stock. Cheapo skates, one's at top. One on each side, that's the place we made the mistake. And you got the rear bit here as well. When you are going to draw this bit, just make sure you don't take out these two stumps or that block, because that's where your buttons sit to uh, screw in and don't take out too much around here. I take out quite a bit, but be careful because you don't want to affect your button press. What I just realised there was I was going to take out some of this top plate and then I realised that it's got the two screw holes in there for these two side buttons for G7 and G8 so I wouldn't do it down there. Now there's a pillar against this side here, so I'm just going to drill sand you know, up to that pillar. That should be enough. This is going to be covered by the top side piece anyway. So you won't see this.
And the scroll will weighs a gram, so I'm not gonna try and get it out. But you can't be twenty six then. <laughs> How heavy was it? I have to troll back for all my vods. Uh, I remember now. Yeah, that scroll wheel is much heavier. Someone said you can take the rubber off for another. Oh, I've got side buttons in actually. That's why. Look. Let me take it out properly. Come on. Half a job, Bob. Right, we're gonna take it out properly. I think it was twenty six grams. Five grams. <laughs> wow, we might have took a gram out of it. I'm just having to look now to see if there's anywhere else we could take any more weight out. We stripped the rubber off it, it's almost saying seven grams, but I don't know. I don't think you're going to get much more out of this. You could drill it, keep the plate on the back, you won't get much out of that. So let's put it back together and see what it weighs. Oh, it looks nice and stealthy. I wasn't going to take the rubber off. Do you want me to take the rubber off as well? It can be very, very time consuming taking the rubber off. I can do it if you want me to. People working about seven grams. My mum was mentioning before. Trying to see now is if I have left any mounting points. I have the one on the rear. Put a screw on this rear one, that'll secure this rear plate. Yeah, so I took the rubber off um, the G502 and off uh, Razor Viper and you definitely save some weight but I think I don't know whether you want to sacrifice it yeah it looks totally stock now off my inside of Doing the base here, people have to work out how, is, how much is three grams worth it to them. Oh, sense of right, okay, sorry, that's what I mean. Yeah, the silver thing. Cheers, I mean, this thing. <laughs> you guys, how big a difference? Is it in gameplay when it 20 grams less? Quite a bit, mate. You'd be surprised. Uh, my G Pro 60 gram versus my uh, versus a stock. I can definitely feel the difference quite considerably. But you can get used to any mouse, right? So it's down to your personal preference.
There we go. Enjoy the road to silver audio, mate. I think I'm silver five or four, but I won't be the reset. These have all got Khalees in, so basically we went through all seven switches here, which are all these ones, and we changed them out for Khalees Reds. Ready for the weight. <laughs> 91. Alright, 91 with the rear plate. So we've taken not much, see? About 8 grams off it, 7.5 grams. You ain't gonna get much. This should be a bit lighter. But you've lost rear plate 82 grams. Because how heavy that how heavy that is. I mean, it's pretty thick, right? The 2.3 mil thick, the plastic on this, so. I need to put, he hasn't got the feet on yet, I need to put the feet on. I'm gonna have hyperglides on it, but I've chopped too much off this corner. So if you do it yourself, be careful. Um, these, the, the G502 did a mod particularly well. The Lightspeed G502 did quite well, but the um, 402 has not done that well either. Because the plastic's so thick, like, it's ridiculous. You can see how thick that is, how thick that is. You have to mill out most of the plastic on this thing. Someone said you can get another seven and a half grams if you take the rubber off it. Doesn't surprise me. That's the thick plastic on a mouse. That way it's own weighs seven and a half great grams, I think. which is why you're going to struggle to get weight out of it. The only way you can save weight on this now, you could drill the buttons, you might save a gram total, um, and you can take the rubber off. That'd be your only savior on this now. And then you're starting to lose buttons. We've already lost a couple of grams off the scroll wheel, you know what I mean? Check Roy, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. So if I was saying, if I was going to do the G402, I probably wouldn't weight reduce it. <laughs> I'd probably just take the rear plate off.